Hi, Tony Bradshaw with Add Some to Your Income to talk today about spending and how to spend less than zero, or in other words, how to make money. I know, we're going to have to work through that math problem a little bit, talk about the spending and a lot about what I think about the spending advice that's out there from financial institutions. Yep, just used a really big word there to talk about that. And lastly, to show you some numbers. So let's talk about the math problem real quick. Diving in, budgets are simple. Five minus four is one. Five minus five is zero. Five minus six is a problem. My favorite bef definition, definition, my goodness. My favorite definition of budget is a mathematical confirmation of your suspicions. When we look at spending less than zero, what are we talking about? What am I talking about? That just sounds crazy. Spend less than zero, or in other words, make money. Here's how it works. You've been given a budget. There's a certain amount that's in the budget. The money is already there. When you spend the money and you spend less than you're supposed to, or in other words, you start out with $25, you spend $20, you still have $5. Depending on how that money was budgeted to you, the number on the spending side shows that you should still be spending five more dollars. Or in other words, you're not at the zero mark yet. I'm going to have to give you some examples and some stories to help you understand how I spent less than zero. Or in other words, money stayed in my pocket that wasn't spent. Quick example from when I was a kid. Grandma sent me to the store. Now, there was a store we could go to. It was a couple blocks away that she sent me. I think it was cheese. I'm going there to get cheese. So I got my bike, and Grandma gives me $10 and tells me, to get two pounds of cheese. These numbers are probably completely wrong because I don't remember exactly, but something like that. Two pounds of cheese, something else you want, and she says, you can keep the change. I go to the store on my bike. I pick out the cheese. I get a candy bar, and there's some money left over. I have $2.35 or something like that. I get to pocket the $2.35. Grandma said I could. She said I could keep the change. She has given me a gift. Let me take a moment and go on and on, more than I probably should, about spending. More than I should because my main focus is adding to your income. But I do want to take a moment to talk about the spending that you often hear because this particular video the title talks about how to spend less. The spending side of things, it would be so easy for me to get on stage and just say some of the things that have already been said about spending. Like the, the one that my wife was all over, the shorter shower, right? If you take a five-minute shorter shower, you'll save yourself $120 a year. Um, problem, if my five-minute shower is shorter by five minutes, I'm taking a zero-minute shower. How does that work? I guess we would be there, wouldn't we? That's, that's how I would, that would say this. And then as I thought more on this, I realized, you know what? I get those shower thoughts. I'm in the shower and I get a thought. What else do you call it except a shower thought, right? I get a shower thought. And these thoughts often bring ideas that bring about money when I follow through with those ideas. It's one of those places that within those five minutes, I have ideas that arrive. Are we gonna shut that down? Can we invest the $120 a year if I make more than $120 a year with the ideas that I get inside the shower? I'd imagine each of you can see, all right, five minute shorter shower will save you $120 a year or whatever it is. And you think, okay, that's all we need to do. We just need to take shorter showers. It's so easy for me to get up on stage and be like, hey everybody, five minute shorter shower. You'll have 120 more dollars in your pocket. Another one that's a classic example of spending 
less, getting by on less, is tracking every every single penny you spend. Why? Why focus on that? When you track every single penny, you're focusing on the spending. That's what you're focusing on. That, and you could probably already tell me within a Benjamin Franklin or two, that's the $100 bill, Benjamin Franklin or two, how much you're already spending. I only know it's the, the $100 bill because I haven't seen very many of them. And so I was like, who's on the 100? And then I had to look it up. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin. All right. So when you focus on tracking every single penny, that's what you're focusing on. You're focusing on the spending. Another one. Uh, again, I can see why people just get up on the stage and talk about this stuff. And then we, we, we pay them money to tell us how to not spend money. We're spending money for someone to tell you to not spend money. And you're like, yeah, that makes sense. It makes him sense. You're making that other person sense. Figure out what they're doing to be selling to the customer what they want to hear or what they think they want to hear, what they're going to buy. And another, I keep getting to another one and another and another, but there's so many examples of them. I could just rattle them off up here. And one of them is the $5 coffee. Don't go to your great restaurant where you get some peace of mind. Yeah, it's it's noisy there. Of course, there are people there. But you're away from the house. You're away from the kids. You're getting that break. And spend $5 on a coffee. Do you know how much that is every year if you add it up? Well, yeah, of course it's a lot of money. But hey, what if my 10th cup of coffee gives me a $50 idea? Is it not a wash then? What can I do? to see myself as an investing in myself. I need to stay mentally stable. How about we look how much it would cost to stay at a mental hospital or I'll go have a $5 coffee, right? Or that in just that time to be connecting and working, I'm gonna go to use this as focus time. I'm gonna disconnect from everything else. I will have a $5 coffee and I'm going to accomplish what I'm setting out to do. I'll write the chapter of my book. I will plan out whatever it is I'm planning. This is easy easy to talk about cutting spending, easy to make it this big thing about the spending over and over, reading about spend less than you make, reduce your expenses, save up for it. Hey, I want to change all of those. I want to change all of them. Instead of save up for it, invest up for it. Put your money into the investment account, invest the money. Once it doubles, then get what you want. Instead of saving for it, invest for it. This is what the wealthy do. This is what you can do. Be like, I have the money now, but I, I, you know, I'm going to invest it. And when it doubles, I'll actually buy the thing I want to buy. Instead of spend less than you make, mm -mm, make more than you spend. I have a whole video about make more than you spend. You can check it out here on the video on this channel. Uh, feel free to subscribe as well if you're liking what is here to be able to get yourself where you're finding ways to add your income. Because it's not about get by on less. No, make more and thrive. What I say, make more and thrive. It's not less, less, less like a bonsai plant, cutting its roots, getting a smaller and smaller container to put it into. That's not very happy living. Less. That's like, let's let's have a smaller house in a worse neighborhood. Who likes that idea? I don't. Less, 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 less. Here is where I start to finally get to saying how we can spend less than zero. And what I'm actually saying is making money in your pocket. You know, I want to make more. I want to make more and thrive. I want to be able to have this chance to have lots of income flowing into me. So what do I need to do? How do I get money to flow to me is a recent video I did. And during it, I hadn't figured out how to make the words able to be seen. So I'm going to turn the screen on. And I'm going to point it so you'll be able to see what's up here. And I'm going to go over the numbers that I skipped and explain how to spend less than zero dollars. This whole video is finally about and a little bit of an explanation of what I mean as I say, spend less than zero, which actually means money goes in your pocket. Our budget for our children and entertainment is zero dollars. Somehow, or we have a 12 month average of about $10 on the children and about $10 on entertainment. Somehow, 
That's where we're actually. Oh, I should put titles here. This might have been for the month. That might have been the twelve month. Mm. No, this is for the month. This is for the current month. This is a twelve month average on those things. So we're looking at my budget here. This is something I skipped over because when it was backwards, there was I was I'm already having a hard time reading it forward. Anyway, so we move forward from that, and I put a little math equation. So if I spent nine dollars and seventy eight cents over twelve months for the children, that's one hundred and seventeen dollars and thirty six cents. Sure looks like I'm way over budget for spending on my children. Of course, when you have zero dollars to spend and you have four children, that gets kind of tough to do, you know? Well, then my brain does some math and I realize my four children for their birthdays get about $30. I say about, it is 30. It's just, it comes from two different sets of grandparents, $30. This $30 actually goes into my pocket to spend on things that they want because the grandparents aren't in the area. That means grandma and grandpa sent me to the store to get cheese for the kid, okay, for their birthday, $120. And that means that we actually pocketed, don't tell my kids, we pocketed $2.64 on these kids. We figured out how to spend less than zero. This is how frugal we live. I almost said we used to live, but there's still times where it feels like our budget for the children is zero, our budget for entertainment is zero, and we are living amazing lives with things coming together that I won't go into here. In that video, How to Get Money to Flow to You, you should check that out. It was a nice video with a lot more information than this particular one. Mostly in here, I was just talking about the spending of other people's advices. I'm not sure, even with math equation in front of you, you're really getting this concept. And if it works in your life, it's a way of spending less than zero, thus making money by living a budget living the budget. Don't track every penny. Start focusing on making more money. I want to make more money. I want to see these zeros become big numbers. I want to be able to take my kids to entertaining things. I want to be able to spend stuff on my kids. I am doing what it takes to make it so that their lives are even better than they have been in the beginning part of their lives. I hope that you will also find ways to add to your income. I look forward to seeing you on the other side.